Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, Clam from Clam Trap Vlog. It's time for another additional knowledge series video. This time, we're going to talk about Melbourne suburb start with K, part 2. Let's go! Alright, the first one, Kensington. It is named after Kensington of London in England. Alright, additional knowledge. The historical New Market Susia and CD Abertroy moved from the corner of Elizabeth Street and Victoria Street to the area in 1859. While beneficial the employment and commercial development of the area, the sale yard commonly produced nauseous byproduct and waste and result in potential danger for the local resident. And then a closing down suggestion has been brought into Parliament votes for few occasions. Unfortunately, few incidents such as economy turned down in the 1890s forced the closure to be postponed. Eventually, the sale yard was closed on the 30th of July 1985. Today, most of the building has been converted into residential area and part of the buildings are being used by Kensington Community High School. Okay, now we talk about Q and Q East. In the 1851, a crown land sales happened in the area. One of the land purchasers, Nicholas Fenwick, subdivided his 495 hectare estate into quarter hectare blocks and he named the subdivision Q. He named the subdivision Q most likely its location closeness to the suburb of Richmond, mirror the suburb of Richmond and Q in London. Alright, the next one, Keys Brook. The area named Keys Brook was named after George Keys, a farmer and a landowner of the area since 1844. The name Kusuf and Kusuf South were inspired by Kusuf of Scotland, but there's no official record regarding the connection between the name origins. The following one is Kingsville. The name origin of Kingsville is uncertain. Apparently, the name Kingsville was the original name for the entire West Yarraville region. The region was later split into North and South and merged into Yarraville and West Fuscray. And the area of Kingsville today was the one that merged into West Fuscray. It was one of the two estates developed in the 1890s by the Werribee Park Chenside family. In 1907, the area subdivided into three areas Kingsville, Queensville, and Clarendon. And the subdivision of Kingsville guessed it as a suburb 92 years later, which is in the 1999. After we talk about Kingsville, now we talk about South Kingsville development of the area began in the mid-1800s when John Sportwood brought 190 acres of land for the dairy farm. The area was originally known as Brockmingham Estate and subdivided in the 1880s. They renamed the area into South Kingsville due to its location being the south side of Kingsville, when Kingsville is still the name for the entire western Yarraville region. Eventually, South Kingsville is the only place that remained its name when Kingsville was split into North and South and merged into Yarraville and West Fuscreen. Today, the suburb of South Kingsville does not border with the suburb of Kingsville. They were divided by the suburb of Yarraville between two suburbs. The last one, Kuyong. Kuyong took the name from the local Kuyong God Creek, which was the original name for today Gardenia's Creek. It was named by the government surveyor Robert Holder in the 1837. It was thought the name was derived from an Aboriginal word, means resting place. Additional knowledge. 
Kuyong was the home of one of the four tennis grand slams, the Australian Opens. The tournament was held in Kuyong Stadium between 1972 and 1987 before the tournament was moved to Melbourne Park. Today, Kuyong Stadium is still remain using and most famously known for hosting the Kuyong Classic Exhibition Tournament annually in January right before the Australian Open starts. Alright, that's it for today's topic. Is there some information that really surprised you today? I hope you like it. If you like my video, please click like and subscribe my channel. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'm Clem from Clem Travlog.